in childbirth. And that was, I'm not sort of saying that poetry is therapy here, but I think it's very transformative to take something that could be painful, difficult, hard to understand or make sense of in our lives and transform that into something bigger, maybe even something beautiful. And obviously you feel that you can do that through the form of a poem rather than writing a longer form piece of prose. I think it cuts, cuts to the chase, yeah, mm. it gets you there. Um, can anybody write poetry? Because anybody. obviously anyone can read it, but, but writing it is something that seems very daunting and it's not something that a lot of people would try to turn their hand to. I think everybody should try to turn their hand to writing poetry if they want to and I think people do I think that quite often that's how people choose to express themselves um, but I also think that it's a craft that as poets we spend a long time learning and honing and trying to perfect um, and I think it, it's in that sense you know it, it can be a slow business you are working towards something I mean, sometimes you get a beautiful gift and a poem just sort of comes down and arrives and in an almost perfect form. Mm -hmm. But at other times we have to work really, really hard at it and work for a long time. Um, but it's, it's work that we want to do because it means something and perhaps it's a way of getting people to look at the world in a different way through our eyes. And how popular is poetry in the, in the market? Well, if the event at the um, South Bank Centre today at the Royal Festival Hall was anything to go by, very popular. Lots of young people there, lots of people from different ages, from different backgrounds. I mean, I think there are, there are poetry events and readings going on all over the country. Um, and you, you said earlier about how we've got a lot of competition from other art forms. But I think that we're also using, we're using the internet, making little sort of animated poetry films. Um, I did a whole project myself called My T-Shirt Says, which, where I made poems from the text that I found on people's T-shirts. Um, then did lots of videos, had music, pirate radio cut-ups, etc. So I think it's as imaginative as you want it to be. Just before we let you go, I think we've got time for you just, just to read a, a short poem for us. OK, thanks. Um, I'll, I'll read a poem, it's called An Aviary of Small Birds, and it's from the Book of Elegies that I'm writing, and it's the title poem. Okay. My love is an aviary of small birds and I must learn to leave the door ajar. Are you the sparrow who landed when I sat at a slate table, sewing lettuces? Webb's wonder, Lolo Rosso, English cos. Swift and deft, you flit and peck, peck, quick as the light that constitutes your spirit. Yes, you were briefer than Neruda's Octobreen. So much rain that night. Our room is an ocean where swallows dive. The bubble bursts, too soon, too late, too long. All sorts of microscopia swim upstream, float in on summer's storm. The tenor of your heart is true as a tuning fork struck and high. My love is the bird who flies free. Lovely. Thank you very much for, for reading your poem to us and also for coming and talking to us on National Poetry Day. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Karen McCarthy Wolf. Very lovely poem. And uh, I always think there's a bit of poetry in the weather forecast, don't you?